I'm Chris Peck and I'm 17 years old and I live in Taranga and go to Otomato College. I'm interested in graphics and technology and had the opportunity to look at Baytex where they might do canvas fabrication. Headquartered at Mount Maunganui, Baytex is New Zealand's largest canvas fabrication company. In their purpose-built 2,500 square metre factory, they make commercial canopies, marquees and some very large and highly specialised tents. Hi Chris, welcome to Baytex. Thank you. To become an apprentice at Baytex, we need to find staff who are practical, very good with their hands, attention to detail, but they must have math skills and good English skills because in the future they're going to be able to read plans, uh, they have to measure things, and they will learn to sew and use our high frequency welders. So what type of things do you make in here? We make marquees for the higher industry mostly, very large tents, circus tents, oh, yeah. architectural canopies. Baytex can handle more than just tents. On the factory floor, workers are in the process of manufacturing large bladders destined for Fiji. They will be used for the storage and transport of molasses. So what type of machine is it over there? Well over here is a high frequency welder, but we've also got sewing machines, very big sewing machines on the, on the floor as well. So we have staff, guys and girls, and they've got to be able to sew. Oh, well, that's good. The factory can handle all sorts of fabrics, from the heaviest PVCs and canvases to the lightest of polyesters, and the product range is wide. There's marquees, large and small, performance tents like the Buzzy Bee and some very special commissions, like these made for the movie The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. The tents were made with silk, backed with canvas and screen printed with gold, and each was uniquely designed in-house. Hi Chris, we're now coming into our design team, and this is Andrew, and he's our design manager. Hi Chris, how are you today? I'm currently working on a project for a, a client that has a circus which tours around the country. Designing a tent like this calls for creativity along with technical knowledge. It starts with producing a digital 3D model. Basically at the click of a button we can convert those, that 3D membrane into flattened panels. The curvy complex shape is formed by welding together several hundred differently shaped panels. And we go through a process of converting all of these into um, images which our plotter, digital plotter downstairs can actually read. And this is the digital plotter. Chris is going to follow through the fabrication of the faked marquee, one of Baytex's most popular small marquees. Hey, this is a computer that um, drives the plotter. Uh, as you would have seen upstairs, Chris, that's the set of uh, panels there for the, for the job we're currently working on. And we'll go up to the play button there and push play, off it goes. This state-of-the-art multi-head plotter cutter makes short work of both cutting the PVC panels and marking them up. So what are all the little marks that the pen's putting on the fabric now? They're called strike-ups and what they do is they align the panels when you're putting the two panels together. Those two little marks should come together on each edge so that through the length you don't get a panel that's out of alignment. The strike-up marks will be a guide for the next process, welding the panels together. Important part here is to keep the fabric flat. So if you want to grab the other end of that, Chris, we'll line it up to our lines that have been put on there from the plotter. Powerful microwaves are beamed through bars and into the fabric to weld it. The radiation and risk of burning requires careful adherence to safety regulations. The welder operator must move back behind a clearly marked line before activating the welder. The apprentice uh, is pretty much thrown into production from the word go. They're involved in the manufacturing processes uh, from day one. And that has fused our PVC together. Oh wow. What's been of particular interest today has been the high frequency welder. It's really neat to see how the welder sort of join the PVC uh, vinyl stuff together. And yeah, it's really interesting. Within the industrial textile fabrication industry, apart from canvas fabrication, you can also do apprenticeships in saddle making, upholstery, sail making, boat covers, trampolines, even convertible car soft tops. And the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation's Level 3 National Certificate covers all these facets of the industry. At Baytex, we have high production runs. They'll have to be very specialised on a high frequency welder. Very, very good sewing skills. Um, they'll have to be able to read plans and, and eventually they'll actually go out into the engineering department as well and learn to do our framing. 
we make things for, say, for the Pacific, where a typhoon could come through. So everything's got to be perfect. They can't break. So the last checking process we're doing here is um, just making sure that the quality of the marquee is up to standard. Every last stitch and weld of a product is inspected. The checklist is ticked off and the marquee's ready for dispatch. And all we need to do now, Chris, is clean the marquee and fold it up. We make a point of actually putting all our products up out, out the back in our grassy area out the back so our staff can actually see the product, they can actually have a hand in putting it up. They see the finished product before it gets exported or sent around New Zealand and they can have a hand at actually doing it. I think it's magnificent how it went up so quickly and easily. I didn't, didn't think it went that fast and with, it's not very hard to put it up and no, it looks great. Yeah. Chris has been brilliant. We've loved having him at Baytex. He's caught on to things very quickly and we'd love to give him a job. It was good to see all the different things that they make here and do and the engineering and the CAD design. It really surprised me how complex the job actually is. There's a Level 3 National Certificate in Industrial Textile Fabrication. This qualification recognises the skills required by the industrial textile industry. The industry includes the making of marquees, tents, awnings, shade sails and even bouncy castles. You need to have a good understanding of maths, geometry, a good eye for detail, be creative and have the ability to work well with your hands. The average apprenticeship takes three years of study, but how long it takes is down to you. Career prospects are positive and the skills you learn can be adapted to any of the industry specialisations. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.